Good morning. I'm so glad to be here with you all um, and proud to be representing Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Slow County. I've been in this role for about three months now, having transitioned from Lumina Alliance after spending about a decade of my career in the business sector and then about eight years in public education. And since I took on this role of executive director, a few things have been surprising. But I can say that the one that was least expected was how often I'd be asked about what's happening at the Boys and Girls Club. <laughs> <laughs> so just so we're all on the same page, um, I'm not affiliated with the Boys and Girls Club, um, and, but they're a great organization. And um, I'm with Big Brothers, Big Sisters, where we ask people in our community to be big. So what does it mean to be big? It's basically stepping up as a mentor or a role model for a child in our community. So it's, you don't have to be a parent, you don't have to be a therapist. Um, you're just being a friend. You're enjoying fun experiences and showing support for a young person. When I saw this position at Big Brothers Big Sisters, it resonated with me because I was one of those kids who needed a mentor growing up. I was blessed to have really encouraging parents, but I grew up in a low-income part of Fort Worth, Texas, and I went to a small Catholic school um, that really didn't have the highest educational quality. And in high school, we moved in the middle of the school year to a more affluent suburb, um, and it was more academically competitive, and I thought for sure I would thrive because I was used to being the smartest kid in class and the smartest kid in the school. Um, but that didn't happen. I had what teachers call um, gaps in my learning, and um, that happens often when kids change school districts. And so I signed up for honors English class. I'd never taken any of, read any of the classic, classics, and they were reading Greek mythology. So I dropped out of honors English. <laughs> and then I signed up for um, world history. And I really didn't have a concept of geography or the world outside of the United States. So I felt in over my head in almost every class. I very easily could have given up on the idea of being academically successful or even going to college. But I had an algebra teacher, Valerie Hudson. She encouraged me every single day. She made me feel like I was good at something. And she, and most importantly, helped me feel a sense of belonging in this new giant school by inviting me to participate in an after-school club that she sponsored. And that's basically what mentorship is. It is um, creating a sense of community, connection, and belonging that all young people deserve. Unfortunately, the kids who need mentoring the most often have the least access. In fact, of the 50 million school-aged children nationwide, 10 million lack a positive mentor while facing generational barriers. So that's one in five kids. They live in or near poverty, they're facing a widening educational gap, and they're falling deeper into mental health struggles. And this is not just in other communities. This is happening here in Slow County. Many of our littles come from single parent households or their parents are working multiple minimum wage jobs. And the kids are, they have gaps in their education and in their social skills coming out of COVID. But at Big Brothers Big Sisters, we believe in the resilience of youth. And we know that adversity, when faced with even just one person in your corner, can be overcome and can even lead to greatness. So I'm looking forward to expanding our programs in local schools where we can serve those harder to reach kids. And we're establishing a, partner, a partnership with restorative partners to serve youth in juvenile hall. <laughs> a goal of mine is to have more robust partnerships with our local businesses to support college and career readiness. So I'd like to invite you all to follow us online, slowbigs.org, everywhere. Um, and we're always looking for people with big hearts and generous spirits to be bigs or to use your leadership skills on our board of directors. So let's expand a culture of belonging to every corner of this county 
and let's make a big impact together. Thank you.